to the launch of the full Invasion 3 mod. The mod itself releases tomorrow and basically it'll pit you and a team of your friends if you're lucky enough to have some, like myself, because I am here with Pixelated Apollo. Oh, dude, I'm not your friend. Oh, wow, that's awkward. Yeah. But it does pit you and, I guess, your enemies against hordes and hordes Acquaintance. of... Acquaintances. Yeah, We're acquaintances. Acquaintances against hordes and hordes of enemies. As they spawn, they get gradually more intense and scarier. You can then upgrade your classes, choose new equipment. It's a hell of a lot of fun. And what I'll do is I'll go ahead and link the mod down below in the description so you guys can check it out right now. At the moment, me and Apollo are currently playing in an event where we are just here to hold the line, push back the hordes of enemies that spawn in, and, and basically just try our best. So it should be a ton of fun. Um, and the goal is to, to stop them from capturing all the capture points. When they capture a spawn point, they push us back and they spawn closer. So it's kind of like uh, you're, you're fighting a last stand almost uh, bit by bit. Yeah, this is, uh, this is one of the classic mods of Warband, and it's cool to see it here in Bannerlord, and so far it looks pretty cool. Yeah, I, I remember spending many a time on uh, the Helm's Deep map for it. The uh, Star, I think the Star Wars maps oh, yeah. as well. There, there was some oh, really, yeah. really cool stuff. So hey, what class? Yeah, are you, so sorry. Oh yeah. I was gonna say what so class I, are you playing as? I went as I went as crossbowman, so I had some like range ability. Nice, nice. Yeah. What about you? Uh, yeah, I went as the Batanian because uh, he gets a two-handed sword and also a bow. Oh. Yeah, and Is I'm, that you next to me? No. Yeah, no, no. I'm currently defending the left-hand side completely by myself right now. Oh, no, oh there's, there's an ally here throwing some uh, throwing some daggers at the enemy. And, yeah, but basically the goal is to level up your class. If you look in the bottom right-hand side, you can see the class you're leveling up and the weapon you're leveling up. And by yeah, doing that... so, you'll get access to higher-tier classes as well, which is really nice. That is cool, like, how you can level up. I mean, that was the same as the older Full Invasion mod, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You just leveled up, yeah. And there's just more classes and equipment to get as you level up. So you really want to try and get a weapon and get up there as quickly as possible. Whereabouts are you on the map? I'm right in the front gate. I'm so screwed. Holy, oh my god, I can see that as I'm spawning <laughs> oh, back in. Ah, help! Oh, and, did you die? Yeah, yeah, I went down. And the interesting thing is when you die, you don't spawn until the next reinforcement set of the AI. So again, you've got one life to live in this round and one life only. Yeah, so a round is based on that timer in the top left, right? Yes, indeed. So as soon as that okay. goes down, uh, everybody will spawn again. And it gives the AI a chance of actually conquering these capture points and pushing us back. Right now, they're uh, okay. capturing the uh, gatehouse, which is pretty scary because if they take that, they spawn there. And you can see as well in the top of your screen as well, that red bar slowly going down. Uh, that's basically our, our win time. We have to hold until that, until that completes and then... The game is ours, win. the day is ours. We'll look to the, the dawn on the fifth day and see an army yeah, of Valandian yeah. knights yeah, led no. by Durhart. And it'll be beautiful. This one, it's like a wave, right? Like, you just got to defeat the wave. Mm -hmm. And this one, it's just like, it's more of a timing. Yeah, exactly. So you can't just cheese them because more and more will be coming. And these early oh, waves wow. are really easy. It's when they start getting archers mixed in with shielded infantry and then it becomes really difficult because you can't just like do what they're doing right now with like kiting the players running around with horses because like a hundred crossbowmen will just absolutely snipe you out and you have no no right. way to to you stop that a bit more creative with yeah um you... for ammo for crossbow is i'm pretty sure there's uh there's just arrows yeah arrows scattered oh, okay. around okay and you can yeah, also... I wasn't sure if I needed like a specific because I have darts instead of arrows. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it, pretty sure it's the same. And I also really like what they've done with the uh, the siege towers as well. I feel like Tail Worlds could take a, a note out of that and uh, implement some siege towers like this. No annoying ladders oh, to yeah. have to push up. So this is a modded map. This is not like... Yes, so I think there's about four modded maps they have. It was like two to four, I think. I think it was two last time I saw. There's like a beach cave landing one. And then there's... Oh, uh, oh my God, yeah. You can see the crossbows, crossbows firing now. Yeah. Uh, yeah, and then there's uh, this one, which is more of a castle defense. And I think they have a couple more now that they've released uh, with the uh, the announcement. And things are only going to get kind of more exciting now. A lot more of the mechanics themselves have been locked down and, uh, you know, are now in. They can start oh, yeah. working on more of that stuff. More of the armors, custom, you know, attackers and stuff. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah, I just took a bar. I'm going to go back and heal, I think. All Good right. luck, my friend. Hold oh, until hold I am back. Yes. When? They pushed up the siege tower yet? Uh oh, uh oh, yep, yep, yep. Okay, I'm oh, coming no. in. Oh, nice. 
Oh, nice. Oh, nice. Don't worry, I got you. I'll never let them hurt you. But you can, you. you can see My immediately hero. how much scarier these guys are compared yeah. to the infantry. I'm whiffing my shots too. Yeah, and these are only the beginning waves as well. Luckily, oh. we, yeah, looking at it. So to get to the... What do I want to go to? Battalion Highland Ranger. I need level 5 in two-handed and level 10 in bow. So, got a ways to go for that. Two handed is almost there, but my bow skill. How do you look at that? Oh, like so, yeah, if you, if you click change equipment, you'll be able to see it. Um, you'll be able to, like, change it around and, and take a look. Oh, okay, and you can see what you can get. Indeed. So, I'm going to try and get some more bow kills, I think, because my two handed is actually almost leveled up already. They are pushing up the uh, ladder as well oh. if you want to come down here and get some experience. Yeah, I'm coming. Because obviously, the main thing is as well, you're, you're getting really good. Uh, you're getting good armor, and that's going to save you in the later rounds when you're actually fighting people with good weapons. Right. Get the hell. Get out of here. What are these? Like, fanatics or something? <laughs> something along them lines. But yeah, I I've seen on their, their mod DB page and stuff, and they are working on custom armors. They want to, like, go... They want to go fantasy as well. They've got, like, vampires and, and stuff that they want to add in. Ooh. So hopefully, you know, in the future, after kind of these mechanics have been all ironed out and stuff, we'll all get some really exciting, like, boss waves and stuff and, and creatures and, you know, anything's really possible. Right. Oh. That would be pretty cool. One of the uh, players has uh, 135 kills. Wow. Yeah. Um, I'm currently on 23 and you're on 9. <laughs> hey, hey, you know, I, it's my first round. <laughs> we should have uh, bet some money on this. Why? Because we're Legolas and Gimli. Uh, well, no, because <laughs> well, I don't know what I'm doing. You well, know what you're doing. that's not my problem, really. That's true. Yeah, it's probably, I saw some naked guy out there with a huge sword, so I'm sure it's him. <laughs> and you just saw oh, me on nice. a Saturday night. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And that sword isn't an actual sword. Yeah, I'm, oh, I'm out of arrows now. I'm just going to go in and get some levels of my sword. Yeah, it looks like this is going to be... A, well, I don't know. Yeah, no, these guys, they are starting to get harder. But obviously, as they get harder, I get harder sitting in my chair. And also, we get better equipment and better weapons. Hell yeah. Yeah, I might go and like... Just, like Because there is also extra uh, equipment as well for your your current class as well. Not only are you going towards the next one, you are you can also upgrade weapons and better bows and stuff. Like I just right. unlocked better bows uh, and also better armor for this class. Yeah, I basically got the best stuff now for this low level class, which is good. Keep me alive a little bit. I mean, I am still uh, a tiny bit off a Batanian Ranger. I need ten bow skill now, which is honestly. So should be too hard oh, to get. Go I was gonna say, is this it has nothing to do with you don't make gold, right? It's it's all experience. Yeah, it's all experience. Okay. Wow, we are wrecking them, dude. Yeah, just wait. The waves do start know, to get. I know, I know, we're not crazy. even halfway through it, but Oh yeah. Oh yeah, I'm looking sexy now. Nice, let me see. Let me see where you at, where you at, where you Hold at. On. Hold on. Get I that fine I'm ass over here. Oh, I'm coming, I'm going through the gate. Oh wait, hold on. We are absolutely demolishing these guys. Yeah, I'm at the gate. If you press Alt, you'll be able to find me because we're on each other's friends list, or oh, should, I, should I say acquaintance list? Oh, there list. you are. Yeah, acquaintance list. Oh no! Enemies in the way. There's just so many of us. I feel like it's unfair against the AI. We could actually form like a proper regiment okay. here and uh, form a proper battle line. Yeah, I feel like I should have went your guy. Why is that? Because you just, the two-handed sword's so good. Yeah, but shield keeps you alive. That's true. All right, uh, I'm coming to you. Oh, look at that drip. God damn. Woo. Oh yeah, baby. Yeah, Woo. yeah. Yeah, I'm all bloodied. Nice. I need to. I need to go heal, actually. 
Yeah, I guess uh, for now we should just enjoy the fact that we're way up in their face. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, uh, I mean, I'm not sure, again, how the balancing is because I haven't played this for a little while. So I'm not sure if, like, the waves are ever going to be a problem with us because there are 65 of us or if, you know, we're just going to be kicking their ass the entire time. Yeah. Yeah, look at us. I like this though. It's like a good old, good old band of uh, band of brothers, I would say, yeah. or band of acquaintances. Sorry, I keep on, band, keep on, yeah, keep on getting Bro, too attached to he us. He just went to a new level, brother. That's like past friends. You know? Yeah, that, that is my my mistake. Like, yeah, yeah. To please, I don't done. know if I can keep making videos with you. <laughs> <laughs> you only make videos with acquaintances. Yeah, it's acquaintance. It gets weird when you become friends. Yeah, yeah. Fair enough, fair enough. I'm at level 7 with my archery now, so it's getting up there. I'm a level 3 with my crossbow, so... <laughs> this nerd! It's probably because you're down there with your 6 kills or whatever it is, whereas I'm up here, hey. Chad Gamer, getting, getting stuff done. Yeah, it's a team effort. My back is hurting. I'm level four now, so shut up. <laughs> I gotta take everything I just said back. Ow, oh, dang it, dude. Yeah, the That's archers the are painful. Is like... All right, here we go. Ah! Ah, die! Die! No, 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 I will save you! I don't need, I don't need saving. That's okay, not what my help. sword says. Yeah, don't worry, I'm here, I got you. That's why you got a shield. And that's why I'm yep. your brother in sure, arms. Thank you, acquaintance. Never thought I would be fighting next to an acquaintance. <laughs> what about <a> friend? <laughs> no, just acquaintance will do. Yeah, fair enough, fair I, enough, fair I, enough. I have no help, like literally no help. Just so go have a little bit of soup. Are there any full? There's yeah. a soup over here, over here, over here. There's a little oh, forward soup there? position. Oh, nice. But also, this is going to be like really good when they start like, you know, people start adding on sub mods and stuff. You know, like the the Helm's Deep stuff. Oh, the dude. Star Wars. Yeah. The you know the Roman last stand against barbarians. You know, that stuff can definitely happen, and I am I am here yeah. for it because you know Eagle Game Rising is a thing. Yeah, Game of Thrones. Oh, it's gonna be amazing. And I really hope. Uh, yeah, I really hope the mod teams do allow that stuff to happen, and just you know work together. <laughs> They're throwing axes like crazy, dude. Yeah. I don't know if you saw those. Like 30 axes just flew by me. Oh. Yeah. We are starting to get pushed back a little. Starting to get a bit yeah, more difficult. Because again, yeah, remember, you know, to... people do uh, die and then they don't respawn until the next wave. So. Right. All it takes is for one round to go really badly. Where are you? Uh, by our little siege tower. Oh, okay. You fell back. Yeah, I'm still on full back. I'll run forward if that's what you're going to say. Oh, I'm just saying. Just, I'm, I'm not hating. I'm just... So I just take everything you say as an insult. Oh, that's fair. I still need to get there we go. We did all right. Bow skill up. I'm level eight, I think, with it. Or level nine? Level oh, eight? Oh, I'm level eight. I'm a level I'm eight level four. archer. Level four, baby. I need to get level 10 for the next, for the, the soldier class. What we got this time? <laughs> oh, Batanian oh, archers. No. Yep, this is gonna oh, be painful. No. Full back, shoot him full back. Kite the enemy. Now, what I wouldn't give for like a Bren machine gun or you know, like yeah. a Browning or something. <laughs> and I don't know why, in like my wildest fantasies, where I'm like, oh, I wish I had a machine gun here, I chose like a gun from World War II. And I could have just said like a modern rifle, you know? Yeah, or a saw. Or like a tomahawk missile. I don't know. There's something. There's something about a World War II era machine gun. You know? <laughs> it was still slightly, you know, it was OP, but you know, it's also also was kind of balanced. The guns jammed all the time. They they, they dropped a good balancing yeah. patch on it. To be fair. Yeah. Good balance. You know, like and the, the guns had different different roles. You know, the MG42 shot really fast, was scary, but it was really inaccurate. You know. The, the British guns had less ammunition, but, you know, were, were more maneuverable. It was just a good, you know, balance patch, to be honest. I mean, realistically, if you were to do that, like, bring a gun to this era, you're probably better off with, like, a, like a rifle, you know, like, like a M4 or something. Well, like a semi-automatic. You need something with a big, I mean, just something with a big cartridge, because no armor is stopping that bullet, right? So you just need bullets. Get an AK with the with the drum 
<laughs> yeah, you know, like an RPK would uh, would do yeah. great. As like, if you could go back. Right? Yeah. Any time in history with a gun to change the course of history, what battle would it be? What battle? Yeah. Oh, I don't know. Because, like, if you go back too far, like Roman era, for example, you know, like, yeah. that you wouldn't be able to defeat the, 50, the, the large scale battles, you know, with what you have. I mean, yeah, I get. could. I mean, it, it depends. Like, oh, breaking an army is different. But if I go up to the Battle of Cannae, where there's like. 150,000 people. How much ammunition can I carry? You know, like I hit so I hit someone like a bullet into someone. It's gonna go maybe through him and his armor and hit into the next person and probably stop. Yeah. You know, like how many people am I going down? Obviously, that scare factor would be horrific. But you know, it, it, let's say they don't run and it's just that. You know, like how many people can you kill? I feel like maybe like. The Battle of Hastings would be a good one. You turn up to that battle yeah. with an AK and, you know, 2,000 rounds. You're changing the course of history. That is true. It's a smaller scale. But, you know, I still think if you had an AK with, you know, drum drum mags that hold like 70 plus rounds per magazine. I mean, yeah, I, yeah, I get yeah, it. Okay, there's no that, way that, you'd... Uh, yeah, there's like hundreds of okay. thousands of people in ancient battles. Like, the yeah. scale is just incredible. When you really sit down and think about it, like, the actual scale of ancient battles is just ridiculous and just hadn't been replicated for a long time after. Well, let's say... Okay, how about this? You got... <laughs> You got a machine gun. Yeah. Infin you got grenades. And yeah. then you also have a rifle. Well, no, no, let, let's change it. What about you just turn up in an M1 Abrams? Oh, oh, well, that's too strong. <laughs> How is that too strong? But a machine gun, rifle, grenades. Why not landmines and a because full can... Navy SEAL team isn't? Because, because you can still be killed. And like you said, it's so many troops. But no, like I don't think you would be killed because you you know the outcome of the battle. You could just study it. You know that like what matter. you know what Hannibal does in that battle. So you just be like okay, I'm just not gonna go where he killed yeah, all these do people. You, do you think showing up with a gun? You don't think Hannibal would be like wait a sec? Like you don't think they would change course? Be like hey that guy that's shooting magic like and it's going boom boom and it's wiping us out. We should run him down with cab. I mean, I don't know, but the battle is so... Like, who would be able to make that decision? Hannibal wouldn't be able to all of a sudden be like, oh, yeah, we're getting slaughtered. Like, that magic is happening over there. Like, the battle is so large scale. Hannibal doesn't know what the hell's going on. Because you're, sure, you're doing sure it. someone be like, hey, there's some guy with, like, this thing in his hand that's going, like, it's like a boom. Yeah, thing. but these battles lasted day... Or, like, not days, but they lasted... They were, like, an all-day oh. affair, right? Like, you just turn up with that. You can extend your am ammunition in 20 minutes. And then what's Hannibal going to do? Oh, yeah, let's just move 100,000, 1,500 men in, like, the space of a, you know, a minute. Ain't happening. What? All right, guys, we're back. Unfortunately, we had a crash there. We're about where we were when it crashed. Oh, my God. Okay. I thought it was going to crash again. Yeah, no, that was uh, the, the next wave spawning in. Yeah, so we're talking about rifles and... <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. I mean, but we, I feel like we've, we've finished that conversation off camera. No, well, we, I, you didn't ask me what battle I would I do. just don't really care what battle, you know? What like, battle? I just don't really care about what you That's have to say. That's why you're Yeah, you're that, that is true. I found the armory, by the way. The armory is actually in the gatehouse. Oh, really? Yeah, so you can go back there and change your equipment. Oh. Oh, I'm not sure sweet. if there's one closer at all, but yeah, it'd be cool if they did get that marked on the map. That'd be useful. Yeah, that would be awesome. Oh, that's dope as well. So when you just when we just we just destroyed their right hand side siege tower, and they just spawn another one and push it up. That's really cool. Oh, that is cool. Yeah, and it looks like we're gonna destroy it again. <laughs> yep, <laughs> you gotta keep the enemy at bay. I mean, we haven't really had a lot of trouble. There is seventy one of us, so I'm not sure yeah, if uh, the difficulty needs to be amped up a little bit, but. Yeah, well, we're only halfway, so. That is true. That is we'll true. See. Are you the next tier yet? Next class? Uh, I probably could. I just, I maxed out on this current class, mm. so I'll yeah. probably, you know, next time I die. Yeah, you could just head back to the armory as well. That is also a thing. That's true. I'm going to probably, probably get some level up one more time. Yeah, use the rest of my quiver and I think I'll head back, so I'll just stick around you and protect you with my life. So, uh, in case the viewers care, because I know you don't care, I, I would use it on the Siege of Constantinople. Okay, what one? <laughs> There's so many. 
I would say, well, I, the one where they fell. Yeah. Not to the Crusaders, but to uh, Mehmed. Yeah, 14, whatever. 14, 53, yeah. I think. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, and, and then I was thinking, you know, that'd be kind of a fun game, you know? A like, game where you get, you get put in and you just get given a, a rifle. Yeah. And... Yeah. Like you're a time traveler or something. Yeah. You go into different battles and you just like, I, 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 it'd be kind of stupid, but... And you have a certain amount of, uh, you know, your loadout. Each loadout costs something, you know. If you want to bring a, bring an anti-tank on or something, that's going to take a lot of points. But if you just want to bring some pistols and stuff, you, you're all good. You make it make yeah. it into a roguelike, get bonuses. You know, every death adds to your overall score. God damn, we're just we're brainstorming right here. I am also a soldier class, um, Valandian crossbowman. Most of my equipment's like not the best but it's it's getting there nice and we're actually finding some pretty scary waves now uh they're definitely yeah. definitely getting up there yeah and there's like how many people right now 70 yeah we're at 74 oh. players on our side so so far has not been too challenging yeah we haven't lost a single point whatsoever <laughs> yeah. yet so we're uh, we're definitely holding our own may have pushed us back a, a handful of times Yes. Um, but we, we've never been pushed back onto the walls quite yet. Yeah, I would say uh, get rid of the artillery for the defenders. Yeah, it does help thin out, thin out it, a lot it, of it, them. It, yeah. But yeah, I can see some pretty nasty elites here. Yeah, they, they, they start to get up there for sure. It would be really cool as well if they could add in like more of like a boss wave or something. That'd be so cool. Like you get like a oh, big yeah. cave. Didn't they used to do that? Yeah, you get like a big cave troll or something coming in. That'd be, that'd yeah. be amazing. Or like 10 of them or something. Yeah, and you're having to focus on them rather than all the, the yeah. small ones, which obviously adds up. That would be cool if Bannerlord, someone made like a low fantasy Bannerlord. You know what I mean? Yeah. Where it's like there's some slight fantasy elements to it so what 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 low fantasy like how how low fantasy like, are you taking it like it would be i don't know because like game of thrones is low fantasy yeah that's yeah i would say about that, that yeah is. so you'd have Just dragons have free dragons going around burning everything op gods <laughs> maybe not dragons but you could have like you know some mythical monster that you have to deal with or you yeah. can recruit but yeah, that'd be I really mean, cool. I, I'm sure someone could make a mod. Call it Low Fantasy Cal Radio or something. Yeah, yeah there's not really uh, uh, many mods out there at all that I know of that have, have gone that route. It's kind of the whole hog or, or nothing at all. Yeah, Cause, I or nothing. Yeah, besides obviously the Game of Thrones ones, but 600 bots now on their side attacking us right now. Oh my gosh. It's like this is easy until it isn't. Yeah. Definitely. Through the get retreat, close yeah. the gate. We need to close the gate. <laughs> we need to close the gate. Oh no! They're gonna be free there in no time. And the oh. artillery is doing some decent damage. All right, so it looks like it crashed there again. Uh, I guess they still have to kind of iron out the uh, the details of it. You know? Yeah, it's such a shame as well because things were just getting crazy. Like I feel like I've just edged everybody watching this video and i apologize however you know this does release tomorrow hopefully the servers will be a bit more stable and you can kind of experience it for yourself yeah yeah it was fun it was fun it, i mean it got at first it was like oh this is really easy but then it was like woof. yeah like it, it gets intense um, but we still yeah. had a quarter of the game left to go as well so yeah yeah so that wasn't even close to the end so. indeed all right guys thank you so much for watching check out both videos leave a like on both videos and of course subscribe to both channels okay thanks for watching